What's your uh, def definition of a leader? Man, it, it, I tell you, now, nowadays, it's it, when, when I look around, what we see and we think leadership is, we think it means dominion over. Mm -hmm. Like, the old standing over people, dominion over people, the reality is, and it's something that I, I remember saying to Tom Brady after they won the first Super Bowl, he said, man, he came up to me, we were in New Orleans, he said, man, Michael, I know you guys want more and more, how can I win more Super Bowls? I said, don't say, I got my boys behind me. Say, I got my boys with me. Yeah. I got my guys with me. If you can remain a quarterback and stay connected to the guys you are leading. That's why San, uh, New England has such success because he's the heart and soul of that team and he's also a quarterback. That's a little bit what Dak Prescott is here. And people underestimate that because regardless of how great I can throw, how far I can throw, if I ain't got these other guys going, I got nothing. So you gotta be a leader to understand. You gotta understand that and understand it's not about dominion over people. It's about working with people. What must I do to get the best out of everybody? That's a hell of a responsibility. Everybody wanna raise their hand to be a leader, but not necessarily do what it takes to be a leader. And it takes work, understanding what makes everybody tick. Because your job's only done when everybody's mm. ticking. Mm. That's good. You go back when you to your, like your 20 year old self um, with all the success you've had and you've become as a person and the lives you've impacted. What and you can have a conversation with yourself back when you were 20. What would that conversation look like? You mean right after I get off of moving his butt. <laughs> yeah. What would what, you tell yourself? I, I go when I get dressed in the morning. You know, I see, I see all the jewelry that I spent. My like, she dummy, you spent my money on this junk. You know what I mean? I don't wear it anymore. But at the time, I just felt like I had to have it. You know what I mean? So I want to whoop them up first for spending my money on jewelry that we don't wear, right? But, but, but the reality is, you know, when, when I look back over time, I, I, I thank God for the peaks and the valleys. And, and honestly, the valleys, it, it, probably even more than the peaks, because the valleys are, are, are what we really search ourselves in and what we really learn about ourselves. I was telling someone earlier that somebody said, they were talking, I was reading, and it was saying, I thought it was fascinating, it was, it, it was, they were saying, uh, well, never, uh, only those who, take, who try to go too far really know how far he can go. I was like, well, that, that's, you know, that's pushing. That means we should always be pushing it. We should always be pushing it and get out of our brain that tells us to stay in that safe area, to stay in that safe area. But I, I, but I will whoop them up first, just whoop them up, you know, but, but, but understand, it, it, you know, from where I came from, and I say this all the time, guys, I measure men in distance travel. In distance travel. Don't tell me about where you are. Tell me about where you started. And then let me see where you are, and I should measure you accordingly. You know, and, and, and from where I started to, to where that young man uh, uh, got to, I would appreciate, I appreciate him for getting there. Mm, few missed few decisions in there which we could have made differently, but, <laughs> but, but, but I have to appreciate it for putting in the hard work to get there. Yeah. What is your biggest um, asset to inspire others to be leaders? What is your biggest asset or biggest giveaway to inspire others to be leaders? What do you mean the biggest the thing that I would say? to someone to be a yes. leader, to, yes. to, to, to understand the responsibility of leadership is raising your hand saying, bring me all the problems. See, too many people want to lead and thinks it's easy to lead. But the leader, it, it, it's like you get the management job. I don't want to buy, I want to get a raise, I want to get the management job. You get the job and then you complain, man, they bring me all these problems. Dude, that's the job. That's why you got the management job. You want to be a leader, solve problems. This is what it is. You can't want something and then not want what comes with it when you get it. Mm, you know what I mean? So when you start talking about being a leader, let's make sure you understand that serious responsibilities come with all of that. Decisions and consequences. Decisions and consequences. Right. So it's, it's quite a way my dad taught me that lesson too. <laughs> Decisions and consequences. I was like, man, when he tapped me that next day, I was so sore. I was like, no, 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 no. no. He, I made no decision. He said, I said, I'm going back to school. He said, all I remember was walking out saying, 
I thought so. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're right. Don't worry about it. I put those pants, really, on, on, on my wall. And every day when I came home, and, and, and my roommates, they'll tell you, in college, I would look at it, and we would be sitting around. I said, I got to go. I said, I got to go. I got to go run. I said, man, if I don't go run, I got to run back to that. And I said, that's not an option. That's right. It's not an option. Hmm. Good. Thank you, buddy. Two more quick questions. We got our last and then Sarah. Who inspires you today? Oh, that's good. My spiritual father, Bishop Jakes. He's been incredible, incredible to be around him. Um, he, he, he's, he's given me so much direction and understanding just on, on, on life things, you know. And, and part of the house, I told him, because my wife is 53, and, and Bishop, thank God, sitting up under him, he's talked about certain things, you know, because he's a little older than me, so he talks about when, when the wife, when, when she goes through that change and menopause and everything and, and all of these, and I'm so thankful he did. <laughs> because had I not known this is what it was, I'd have been gone. <laughs> been gone. But yeah, you know, because he talked about it, I, I was prepared when it hit. Like, oof, this is what he was talking about. Okay, it's not anything against you, Michael. Her hormones are acting. They say, hey, just, just do. Don't take it personally, just shut up. That's what, that's what he would say. He said, when she's acting this way, okay, knucklehead, don't you take it personally, just shut up. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Be able to sit and just take it and realize it don't have I, I can't tell you how much that meant. I really can't tell you how much that meant because we're, think about it, we're, we're, we're men with testosterone, we want to fix things, we're evil. The testosterone fluid is a fighting fluid. We think we can figure it out, we want to fight everything. And now she's doing things. And I'm like, I can't figure this, what's going on? I can't figure <laughs> Anytime a man's uncomfortable and can't figure things out, it gets hard for me. <laughs> it gets hard, you know? And so he would bring me uh, to the Ritz and we would always sit and we'd get a massage. Or, was sit still, he'll let me vent. He'll let me vent. I said, man, I'm done, that's it, bro. I ain't taking it no more. He said, you done? He said, yeah, he said, now drive off and get on home. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> just, just that little thing, man. It, it makes all the difference in the world. I'm just so thankful to have him, to have him go before me. Somebody that I can share everything with um, and, 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 and feel comfortable and still guard. Mm -hmm. Last one, really quick, Sarah. Thank you. I'm just I, I'm bringing up kiddos. I heard you talk about things your mom told you. As a mom, a busy mom, you know, business mom, what can I do to help? Like, what what was something that maybe made a change in you and, and helped? You know, it's important. Let me, let me tell you something, and and, and, and I'll share here. Um, you know, I'm going through something with my kids, and, and the one thing that that went on with my mom, and I remember when I first got in the league. I first got in the league and I bought her a house, bought her a car, got her everything. And, and, and one of some of my sisters and brothers, they were struggling with some, some things. And they would still come by, steal stuff, go back and pawn it, knowing I'm going to come and get it out and give it back to her. And I remember saying to her, baby, we don't have to live like this anymore. We got it. We're, I said, well, we, let's sh we can shut it down. I said, they got to stop coming in and taking from you like this. She, I'll never forget. She said, baby, that's just stuff. Just stuff. This is my child. He said, This is my baby. Said, so I, I will always see my baby. I'll never forget. Even my kid, right now, when I go, through, I get so mad. I said, you got to do this, you got to do that. Yeah. I'm always remembering. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. I want to, as a man, learn to have that kind of love for my child, even though my child didn't come out of me. You know, child grew in you, you know, mom got them certain kind of love. It's a real love, you know what I mean? And nine months up in there, bake that baby up, and here it goes. Here, you know, that's why when we always say, yeah, we, we pray, we have a baby. No, 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 you ain't having nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't going through labor. <laughs> you gonna be right there talking about, come on, breathe again. Here come, here come, here come. You know, we're walking through it, but we don't feel the pain. It's a great love. It's a great love. My wife taught me that too, even young. I was getting on my son about something, and I said, I'm tired of telling you, I keep telling you over and over again. She would just wait, 
And she would say, wait. She said, baby, you know, that's what parenting is. You just got to keep saying it until they get it. I said, I want them to get it the first time. <laughs> that's how we are. We want them to get it the first time. That's why, that's why it's so important. And, and, and seriously, one of the things that I speak to a lot is fatherlessness. The issue we have in this country with fatherlessness. It, it's, it's, the, it's the most horrific issue we have, and, and, and it is tearing our country apart. We're about 30% Caucasian Americans having babies out of wedlock. Uh, father's not there, 50% Hispanic. We're 73% African Americans. And, and, and the numbers are, 90% of the homeless are, are, are people that are locked up and in jail, 90% of them come for fatherless homes. 90% of them. Hallmark did a study one time where they gave, at Mother's Day, they gave cards out to all the prisoners to send to their mother. It was such a great success. They thought they'll do it on Father's Day. They said, we're gonna do this on Father's Day too. They came back Father's Day, not a card. Wow. Nobody wanted a card. And it told you everything. Yeah. Both units are important. So I'm so grateful know. for these guys right here. Yes. There are a lot of great dads in this room. A lot of great dads. And I want to applaud all you great dads, man, because we, we don't get applauded. We, we, we don't get the just we are, that we're due, and, and I want to applaud every man in here for staying on this post. I always tell you, stay on your post, no matter what. Stay on your post. Okay. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Thank you to Monster Premier and Success Society. Appreciate you being a part of this. Thank you so much. We're going to spend a little time get some quick pictures with the team, but thank you for being a part of the last couple of days. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, if you think these seven mistakes are good, you're going to love the last video. How to present four insurance products at once in a bundle. It's right there. See you in there. Hey, who doesn't want to sell four insurance products at once, right? You're thinking, dude, I'm selling one policy. Why don't I just sell four right now?